Hi everyone. I want to show you a progression and an assist for practicing your handstand. And so we've got a chair and it's quite an interesting concept. Lower, easier, higher, easier. I think it's actually easier the lower you go because um, the higher you go, the more you're actually getting over your shoulders into the correct, correct alignment of a handstand. What will make it easier is if we take the hands further away from that, we'll make it easier. The closer you bring it, will make it more difficult. Again, the more weight you're going to be getting onto your arms. So you choose one that is comfortable. You remember your lift under the armpits. You're drawing down of your shoulders, you're scooping of the tummy and pressing into the hands and lift. Okay, release the neck and think of lifting up and over your hands. Bend the knees and root, let energy go through the arms, broaden the upper back and then lift up and over the hands. Press harder down through the arms, bend and strong in the belly, nice and strong in the core, and press, lifting, and strong in the belly, and see if you can shift over, lift, because then in time, as you keep coming more and more over, you'll be able to come closer and closer towards yourself. If you find that the elbows keep bending, uh, it could be from different reasons, but giving it support by giving it something to press against because the same as when you press against something, it's also hugging in back in the opposite direction. So you take it not too wide, but also not too small. Okay, you'll feel when it's too small, it just doesn't feel good at all. Take it onto the lower arms underneath your elbows and you try it there. And you'll feel how much it supports there. And then you can do the same and lift. And it's strange, you'll think, oh no, I mustn't do it with the support because I'll always be dependent on the support. I tell you, you're gonna find this so much easier to just do like so, lifting out and then you just allow your body to absorb the ease of the movement. And then once you take the strap off, it just does it like that. And you'll notice it really does. The arms just stay there a little bit better. And each time you do it, a little bit better. You can use a strap for all the exercises that we've got here on for the handstand, so even practicing the round upper back and dropping through, pressing down, because your body learns through the nervous system, through how it feels. So it's feeling where it wants to and can be. And then it just mimics that later without the strap as well, as best it can. So you will be changing your muscles and the nervous system. Enjoy your practice.